Welcome to season two of the IWTV award-winning series, The Masked Wrestler. For those of you just joining us, The Masked Wrestler is a tournament of mystery. A single elimination tournament featuring eight different pro wrestlers masked with the opportunity to wrestle for the IWTV Championship. There's just one catch. If you lose your match in the tournament, you must reveal your identity. Calling the action for season two, former IWTV World Champion, Hot Sauce, Tracy Williams. Alongside IWTV's own, Dylan Hales. The referee calling all the matches down the middle, Adam Galt and our esteemed panel of judges, one of the most decorated wrestlers in all of the United States, the bulldozer, Matt Tremont, the inaugural winner of the Cassandro Cup, Edith Surreal, and former IWTV champion himself, War Horse. And I'll be your host, Larry Legend. Now, let's introduce the judges to the surveillance room. Judges, welcome to the surveillance room. Damn, dude, you sleeping here? This is going to be the vantage point that you will all view the matches from. As you can see, there's a masked wrestler placard in front of each one of you. That's where you're gonna write down your guesses for who's under the mask. And this year, we're sweetening the pot. Not only will the one of you that correctly guesses the wrestler earn a point, but the judge that has the most accumulated points at the end of the season will pick the stipulation for the huge IWTV title showdown. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. That's right. So it's all on the line for season two of The Masked Wrestler. Now, we'll go over to the interrogation room to meet our two first mass competitors. My name is Ayaterra, and I am from the Milky Way. I have been a professional wrestler since before the global pandemic began. I feel that wrestling with my identity hidden is a big advantage, as I know multiple styles and will be able to trick my opponent. As far as not knowing who my opponent is, I know that they are a scarecrow so they might try to spare me, but it will not work. As for what the title match stipulation might be, I know that the judges all have unique styles and different knowledge of the industry, so depending on what they choose, I will mentally prepare myself. Two truths and a lie about my true identity are, I was trained by Damien Adams, I get a kick, out of Adam Sandler movies, and I am well-rounded when it comes to music. This tournament means a lot to me, as it is a chance for me to get a shot at the IWTV Championship. My name is Maze, and I am from the cornfields of the Midwest. I have been a professional wrestler for five years. I feel good about wrestling with my identity hidden. I believe that it will allow me to express myself in my most primitive. I don't get that opportunity often. As far as who my opponent is, I mean, as otherworldly as they can be, I don't think I'll be too close to death. Yes, I know the judges very, very well. And they're all so different, different perspectives. 
And as far as which stipulation they pick, <laughs> I'm flexible. Two truths and a lie about my true identity. I hate birds. Also, contrary to popular belief, I'm an excellent swimmer. Thirdly, I'm no punk. I travel all over the US as a badass. The possibility of IWTV gold. It's worth a day in the field any day. I'd be honored, truly, to become the IWTV champion. Season two of The Masked Wrestler begins right now. I'm Dylan Hales. I am joined by my dear, close, personal, longtime friend and former IWTV independent wrestling world champion, Hot Sauce, Tracy Williams. Hot Sauce, you ready for this? Oh, I am ready. If there's two things that wrestling needs more of, it's mystery and masks. And, and it reveals three things, and we got all three here at The Masked Wrestler. All three in that ring right behind us, and we're gonna go there right now to Larry Legend for our first contest. Let's kick things off with our opening bout here on season two of The Masked Wrestler. Introducing first, standing to my left, fighting out of the cornfields of the Midwest, this is Maze. And their opponent, fighting out of the Milky Way, this is Gaia. I'm so excited for this match. This is so cute. Same, same. I'm excited to win the whole thing because I'm going to pick the nastiest stipulation I can think of. Oh, you're not winning. I'm winning, actually. No, though. no, no. See, that's where you're mistaken because uh, Warhorse plays by his own rules and Warhorse rules ass. See, that's where you're wrong. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I know you don't know what that means because you don't play by the rules. I'm winning. I'm winning. No, no. Did you stay quiet over there? I will. He's ready. Ring the bell! Season two, episode one, match one of the Masked Wrestler. As I said before, Dylan Hills, tonight I am joined by Hot Sauce Tracy Williams as we call the action here in this tournament of mystery. The winner goes on to win the I or to challenge, I should say, for the IWTV Independent Wrestling Championship. Previous time, the winner did win it all. Maybe that's why I'm uh, looking into the future, so to speak, Hot mm -hmm. Sauce. We've got Maze taking mm -hmm. on Gaia Terra in this opening contest. Maze and Gaia Terra. Yeah, I think that stands for Dirt Dirt. I think you might be right. Yeah, I, th I think it's Dirt Dirt, and then Maze is like, I don't know, Corn Maze or something. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's how either. Well, what do you think it is? It doesn't matter. It's just, you just, it's, 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 it's Dirt Dirt, dirt and Corn Maze. Okay, you're Dirt Dirt. Yeah, oh, you're Dirt Dirt. You're Dirt. Not only are you looking at a blank individual, you're looking at a totally different character from who this person might usually be. And that's going to get in your head right there. And you got to think, uh, okay, so I'm fighting a scarecrow, but I might be fighting, you know, this person or that person that I've seen around. What I'm really looking for here is who's used to wrestling in a mask. Mm. You know, when I first started training, I had to train in the mask to get used to breathing, to get used to my loss of vision, to get used to your loss of hearing. It's quite a challenge. And if any, either of these wrestlers aren't used to wrestling in a mask, I don't know how far they can go in this tournament. That's a solid point. I have no idea how anybody can wrestle with a bunch of crap on their face. Yeah, I, I, I think a nice counter there, but early on in these contests, you got you, you got to assume that the competitors are going to maybe try to hold little things back. You don't want to unload the clip, so to speak, right out of the gate because you got to win three matches to win this tournament. Mm -hmm. So uh, protecting your identity isn't essential, but it can absolutely be a tool if it gives your opponents in the future nothing to scout for. Yeah, absolutely. We see. Maze, oh, almost got out of that headlock predicament there with a bit of a, an arm breaker, but finds themselves back in it. And yeah, I, I mean, you got to think all the other competitors in this tournament, if they're allowed to, are watching along with this competition to try to scout out who they think these competitors might be. Shoulder. Take down there. Maze. Dietera on the move. Oh, but they get hip tossed down by Maze. Maze sort of, if you, I noticed that. May sort of held court in the center there for a moment. Oh, Gaia Terra though, throwing those feet up. 
Walking around. A little bit of around the world head scissors there. Yeah, I, I thought Maze was going to be able to put on the brakes. Unable to do so. Ooh. Back. You know, I think what we saw there, I think Gaia Terra was having a little bit of trouble with the costume there. I, I think I, I saw, you know, maybe the mask was throwing them off or the this gear that they're not used to wearing. They didn't capitalize on that head scissors and they took an extra beat there. And just from the body language, I'm going to think that that was the costume effect. It, it, it absolutely can be. It the th When you're hiding your identity, it's both an asset and a weakness in various ways. We saw that through season one. Look at that. Oh, is that biting? Absolutely. We saw it in season two as well. Of course, the, the the winner of the first season, Lee Moriarty, did go on to receive that championship opportunity and defeat Warhorse, who's one of our judges for this yeah. season. So this is not just a, an opportunity of no circumstance. You could be a world champion if you can make your way through this tournament, something you know very well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and I'm sure every independent wrestler out there is is watching this competition as well. Stopping oh. the field, but wow, Maze with a huge boot to the face. Dead center, like... That's a great, great positioning there on that cover. There was really nowhere for Gaia Terra to go. Had to exert Whoa. that energy. Did you see the flexibility on that neck there from Maze? Very flexible competitor, we know that. Maze just... <laughs> there's something about the demeanor of Maze very unusual, even in an unusual, like an innately unusual setting, Maze especially unusual so far in this matchup. Nice. In the corner, just a full body attack there. Yeah, and I think we're going to see, my guess is that throughout this tournament, we're going to see that just being in this different environment, being in this different sort of character and different sort of look is going to affect the body language of these competitors. So it may be even harder to tell who they are. Oh, wow. Quite a stretch here from Maze. Like really a, wrenching all the way back. That's like a seated full Nelson yeah. almost, looks like. That, and Gaia Terra, who, who's not a large competitor, is in, in the center of the ring. That's the worst possible place yeah. to be in a submission hold. Oh, looks like they're, they're getting their hips out in front of them, though, which is good. Good technique, and they've, they've essentially escaped the hold here if they can break the grip. Yeah, went after the knuckles. I thought maybe Gaia Terra was looking for the wrist as well, which, of course, is a just defensive tactic if you can execute it, but yeah. difficult to do from that position. Ooh, gets a nice drag out of it. Really doing everything they can to turn the momentum around here, and it looks like it's working out for Gaia Terra. Oh, Toreador. Nice. And picked up the pace there. The smaller competitor, maybe a, a little bit of advantage there. There we go, closing the distance. Looking to shoot Maze across the ring, but gets reversed. Up and over. Oh, God! Oh! Really innovative throw there and covers on top. Two! Uh, that was the first time where I thought we saw something where the impact was significant enough where I really felt like that was the end of the match. And if you're Guy Terra, right now you got to go. You've been suffering. You've been hammered all contest long. You've got to make a play to win this thing at this moment. They were in that submission hold for quite a while, though, and they could be feeling that in their back and their spine and their shoulders. So it's difficult to capitalize on big moves like that when you're feeling that pain. But yeah, they've got to yeah. go through the adrenaline. They've got an airplane spin going on. Again, around the world there. That might have that might have been uh oh, ho, ho. Well, down goes Maze. Quick cover! One, two, three. I, I, I'm gonna say this right now. If Maze lands back first there, that might be the, that might be it. The extra second it yep. took to turn Maze over was probably the difference. And if you're guy there, you cannot get frustrated in this moment. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's just the that's the way the cookie crumbled right there, Dylan. And now, you know, trying to pick up the pieces of that cookie and put them together into a big wind-shaped cookie is Gaia But Maze gets a double leg. Thought maybe looking neck breaker there. Cross the legs, but oh just merely as a distraction as they go up to the neck and the shoulders. Looking for that submission again. That's twice. That's a... What is the... Oh, my oh. God! Let's see. That could be Three. it, Dylan. And wow, that is, it. that is it as Maze is going to advance in this tournament with a definitive win, I would say, against Gaia Terra. Absolutely, as definitive as it gets, dropped Gaia Terra right on their face. And we're going to find out who Gaia Terra is in just a few moments here on The Masked Wrestler. Well, there you have it, the opening contest of season two of The Masked Wrestler. Maze picks up the victory, but who do we think Gaia Terra was?
And as I explained, the competition is even more fierce this year because amongst the three of you, the one that accumulates the most correct guesses will pick the stipulation for the big IWTV title bout. So with that said, let's get those answers down and then let's head on out to the ringside area so we can reveal who your guesses are. Easier said than done. What? I got this in the bag, baby. Oh yeah, well I I too have this in the bag, so uh, if we both have it in the bag, we must have the same answers. Let me see yours. No, fuck, get out of here. Just let me see it. Stop it. We're comparing notes. No, we're, we're not. We're professionals. It doesn't work we like do. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you're wrong anyways. I have whatever. to be next to you this whole season. I am not happy oh, about yeah, this. Oh yeah, you do. It's Matt, gonna be a bumpy just, ride, sister. Places, Sorry please. to tell you. I'd rather run over here. Yeah, we're real. Stay over that wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, I'm I'm fine right over here. I think we're all fine right where we are. I'm not fine. <laughs> no big deal. Well, let's get on out to the ringside area and then we'll all be even better. We're back, fans, and after that, our opening bout on The Mass Wrestler Season 2. Let's take it to the judges to find out their guesses for which competitor is under this mask. We'll start with you, Bulldozer. If you don't mind, I'll do the honors here, and let's reveal who you think that is. Oh, Bulldozer has guessed Kennedy Copeland. Let's take a look at Edith. Edith Surreal. Guess right here on the official Mass Wrestler tally board. Well, Edith Surreal has guessed Janai Kai. I know it's you under there. I recognize those moves. Well, let's see what Warhorse, Warhorse, former IWTV champion in his own right. Well, Warhorse has guessed Tootie Lynn Ramsey. It, show him the, yeah, show him the picture. I've wrestled everybody twice as champion, and I can assure you, you're wrong, and you're super wrong. You couldn't be more wrong. So, uh, Tootie, go ahead and uh, take the mask off whenever you're ready. Well, well, hold on there. What? Competitor, were any of the judges correct in their guess? See, I told you. I told you. It's Tootie. Come on. Dude, quit screwing around. Let's go. We got a show to do. I know it's you, Janai. Come on. Well, without any further ado, show us all, show the world just who you are. After this brief break. And we're back, and now it's time to learn just what the identity is of this masked wrestler. What? Yes! Edith was right! Yes! No! I got it! No, In your no, face! No, no, it's fine, it's fine. In it's, your it's, face! It's fine, it's fine, it's good, it's One fine, it's okay. One point for Edith Surreal, thanks, Janai. Janai Kai revealed as the first masked wrestler, unfortunately, to be eliminated from the competition. Janai, how does it feel to be in the opening match of season two of The Masked Wrestler, although in a losing effort? I feel okay. I mean, I did try my best. You know, it was pretty difficult wrestling that way, um, but don't feel too good with the result. But, yeah. Well, I know someone who is feeling kind of good, and that's Edith Surreal, who accumulated one point for correctly guessing who was underneath that mask. Yes, your loss is my win. Thanks, Janai. Yep, congrats. Well, you know, speaking of who was underneath that mask, do you think you have any idea who was underneath the mask of your opposition? I think I have an idea, but I, I, don't, I don't know yet. We'll find out, we'll find out. All right, well, it's all a tournament of mystery, and part of that mystery was each masked competitor telling us two truths and a lie. Uh, we heard all three of them, but can you reveal to the people at home and to all of us which one of those was the lie? So the two truths and a lie were I get a kick out of Adam Sandler movies, I was trained by Damian Adams, and I am well-rounded when it comes to music. And the lie was I was trained by Damian Adams. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that was a lie. I knew that was a lie now that I'm right here in front of you. Are, are you are you really well-rounded with music? Pretty well-rounded. Name 47 Warhorse. metal bands right now. You didn't even name one. Oh, what? yeah. That's Warhorse. two lies. Doesn't count. Disqualified. We don't, we don't have She doesn't get her point. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I told you he was going to be too hot to handle and too cold to hold. You got no time for that. Yeah, right. We, we don't have don't time. Don't ask for him. Listen to Mr. Tremont. Uh, well, fans, that's going to conclude the very first episode of The Masked Wrestler Season 2. We'll see you all right back here on IWTV for episode two next week. To be honest, I mean, it was a good experience, but unfortunately, some of my skills that I've had throughout the years that I've learned didn't really match up well with what I had to do. I feel all right. I mean, overall, I'm just not happy with my performance. As far as my uh, opponent goes, um, I think I have an idea of who they are. There is little bits of things that kind of reminded me of them, but I don't want to guess right now, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs>